Picture this. Bowser has captured Princess Peach and hidden her in a locked room in his castle. Unable to walk through walls, Peach is trapped. But if she were a small particle, Peach might be able to get on the other side of the wall and out of the locked room by something called quantum tunneling. Before we dive into this phenomena, let's step back and look at some background information. According to quantum mechanics, particles exhibit properties of both particles and waves, an idea called wave-particle duality. Particles, like waves, have wavelength, called a de Broglie wavelength, equal to Planck's constant h divided by the particle's momentum, mv. For visible objects like you and me, our mass is so much greater than Planck's constant that the de Broglie wavelength becomes negligible, so we do not act like waves. But for subatomic particles, say an electron, the particle's mass is small enough that the de Broglie wavelength becomes measurable, and so the particle exhibits some wave-like behaviors. The behavior of these matter waves is described by the Schrodinger equation. The solutions of this equation, called wave functions, can be used to find a particle's probability density, or its probability of being detected within a given volume at a certain time. Now we're ready to look at quantum tunneling. Suppose you aim an electron at a thin screen. Classical physics says that the electron will be deflected off the screen and back at you. For the most part, this holds true, but there's a slight chance that the electron will travel through the screen and appear on the other side. How? Electrons are small enough to exhibit wave-like properties. If an electron's wave function extends to the other side of the screen, it is possible for the electron to end up on the other side, even though the probability of doing so is small. Quantum tunneling is crucial to the functioning of our sun. The sun uses nuclear fusion to create energy, but it is not hot enough for individual protons to overcome their electrical repulsion and fuse into helium. Quantum tunneling allows protons to cross this energy barrier and fuse, making life possible for all of us down here on Earth. Quantum tunneling is also used in scanning tunneling microscopes. A conducting tip is brought very close to the surface of a sample, and a voltage is applied to create an energy barrier between the tip and the sample. Electrons can then tunnel across the barrier, effectively mapping out the location of atoms to a very high resolution. So let's go back to the locked up Princess Peach. If she were a particle, Peach could potentially escape simply by quantum tunneling, but as it is, Princess Peach can't tunnel through the wall, and Mario has to save the day. Quantum tunneling won't allow us humans to walk through barriers, but it's still pretty cool for its present and future applications in our lives. <laughs>